Welcome to VAR India News Hour. AI and ML platforms converting documents for financial institutions into structured insights. Despite major advances in digital security and cloud storage, paper remains an essential ingredient in the contracting process. Intelligent document processing uses artificial intelligence to automate data processing, disrupting fintech by augmenting human intelligence. Unlike robotic process automation and simple data extraction, AI for Document Insights enables knowledge management digital transformation with streamlined search, synthesis and analysis across large volumes of complex documents, helping employees quickly make better business decisions. But in 2021, where most business advances were built on some form of automation, weren't we supposed to be living in a more efficient future? Even better, why spend time assessing and sifting through thousands of documents when AI could do the job in a few minutes? As per the Adobe study, attitude toward going all digital with document management are rising, but old paper habits die hard. Did you know manual document related challenges account for a 21.3% productivity loss and Indian companies waste a collected 82% annually managing paperwork? India incorporation could potentially save up to Rs 5,000 to Rs 6,000 crore per annum by integrating smart offerings like NSE backed Finstinct that allow financial organizations to cull out hyper-targeted, structured information from millions of unstructured paperwork and documents floating in a BFSI ecosystems. A report says workers spend approximately 11 hours in a week to deal with documents-related issues, which leads to low productivity and poor quality of the customer service. As per Goldman Sachs, it is estimated to spend $33 million every year on hiring analysts who can read reports, papers to make sense of millions of documents running through their system. It seems, perhaps, the cost spent on the current manual system can be avoided and channeled towards better insights and process management and financial institutions. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Global chip shortage would impact production of Apple's new iPhone 13. Apple's forecast to make 90 million units of the iPhone 13 over the last three months of 2021 has slashed estimates by 10 million units as the lead time between placing a semiconductor order and taking delivery has blown out to an average of 21.7 weeks, according to research by Sisquehanna Financial Group. Chipmakers have been unable to cope with a wave of demand unleashed after the COVID-19 pandemic for various reasons, including strong demand for laptops for home working and after automakers underestimated how quickly car sales would rebound. IBM is dead serious about the partner push, says Arvind Krishna. IBM's effort to generate growth in hybrid crowd and security is so ambitious that it's got to be through the channel since the IT giant has mostly shifted from taking deals directly as part of its debt serious push to work more with partners, IBM CEO and Chairman Arvind Krishna said. The upcoming growth has got to be through the channel partners. Krishna outlined pivotal areas of opportunity for solution providers to work with IBM as the company doubles down on its investment into the channel with the vision to double the business that IBM does with the channel in the next four years. RIL invests in next wave to focus on low-cost tech for PV cell production. Reliance New Energy Solar is going to invest in next wave as a strategic lead investor. Freeverb Next Wave GmbH is a company that produces high-efficiency monocrystalline silicon wafers, announced the induction of RNESL as a strategic lead investor in its 39 million euros Series C financing round with an investment of 25 million euros in Phase 1. The investment by Reliance will accelerate product and technology development for next wave, including completion of the commercial development of next wave solar photovoltaic products on prototype lines in Freeburg. Amit Khare appointed as the advisor to Prime Minister. Former Secretary, Information and Broadcasting Amit Khare, an IS officer of the 1985 badge, is appointed as the advisor to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Khare retired as the Secretary on September 30. Amit Khare not only spearheaded the National Education Policy 2020 under the direction of PM Modi, but was also instrumental in bringing key changes in the Information and Broadcasting Ministry regarding digital media regulations. He joined the Prime Minister's office after ex-Cabinet Secretary P.K. Sinha and ex-Secretary Amarjeet Sinha left the PMO as advisors this year. Ahead of going public, MobiQuick turns Unicorn. MobiQuick, which is ready to come out with an initial public offering, turned into a unicorn after a secondary employee stock option plan sale round led by former Blackstone India head Matthew Syrak. 
the transaction is valued at an enterprise value of around 1 billion dollar in its previous valuation the company was valued at 720 million dollars in may 2021 after a 20 million dollar stake purchase by uae sovereign wealth fund abu dhabi investment authority as for the source the transaction in the round took place at an enterprise valuation of around 1 billion dollar That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Varindia News Magazine. Stay tuned. Thank you.